In this video, we're gonna be using this enormous tube of Leah shaving cream, and we're gonna be using the Red Imp 133 with a brand new Arkansas Edge. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using this enormous tube. This is 8.8 .8 ounces of Leah shaving cream, and today we travel to Spain. This is a product of Spain. It's been around for a long time. I think the company started in 1823, or at least the founders of the companies, the spinoff companies. This has been around for a while in terms of the the company. And uh, this is a nice smelling cream and it's enormous. It is 250 grams or 8.8 ounces. And I got this at the Razor Company for $12.99. And that is an exceptional on our cost chart, $1.47. Let's go ahead and show you the ingredients right there. And the ingredients were kind of stuck on the back, which leads me to believe it's a sticker there. Maybe they've changed the ingredients over time, but this has been around for a long time. It's got a clean, fresh scent, which is, I think, characteristic of a lot of the, the tube creams. Very nice. Um, I would call it under medium in scent strength. The razor for today is the Red Imp 133 with a brand new Arkansas, uh, this is ultra fine, uh, called sometimes referred to as the surgical stone. And there's a look at the stone. I don't want to drop it and shatter it. And these are found on Amazon. Usually this is six by three. It's under a hundred bucks. So not a bad value. Very, very hard stone. So you have to be careful when finishing on this stone. And we'll hope we've done a good job. When I got this razor, I took a flyer on eBay and it arrived to me in bad shape. I'll show you a picture of it. I've shown this before. It had a bad frown in it. So I had to do a lot of work to get this shavable. And we'll hope that our work, the work that we did on refinishing it um, yesterday or the day before was good. So let me set the stone aside. We'll come back, get right into it. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back. And we have our trusty Captain's Choice bowl, which you see right here. And uh, the brush today is the PAA Atomic Rocket, which I like, and I think we've made a, a nice lather today. Plenty of volume with the Leah. Again, out of Spain, let's wet the face. We have our standard 24 hours growth, which you see there. And this is just plain tap water in a spray bottle. Uh, and I'll link that below. It's called a continuous sprayer, if you're interested. And let's apply this cream to the face and get on with our shave. We really look forward to coming back every single day and bringing these shaves to you with the equipment from all over the world. And sometimes we do a great job and the equipment does a great job and, and sometimes not. And I show them all. And so when I have a bad experience, I show it. When I have a good experience, I show them too. We have a lot more good than bad, so that's always positive. But one thing about it is I bring you everything the way I see it, and I don't sugarcoat it. And so that's what you're always going to get here. And they might that might not be for everyone, but that's what I deliver. But keep in mind, I'm only speaking for me and my use case. You know, I can't speak for everyone else. You may have a better experience with products than I do. It's largely... Um, dependent on your use case and unique set of experiences. So I may love this cream today and you might use it and may not. So please base your purchasing decisions on folks other than just me. I hope you're watching other folks. I hope you're, you know, doing research and making sure you get as much information possible before you spend money. That's the way I look at it. Okay. Let's see how we did on a red imp. Feels pretty good so far. Hello grind on this blade, or at least partially. Feels pretty good so far. Cutting well, but as I often say, on my cheeks, most of the razors feel pretty good. It's when I get down to the neck, which is my toughest area of growth, and it also happens to be the most sensitive area on my face, that I can feel how well we've done. And if it cuts cleanly and it doesn't feel like it's tugging and I don't feel roughness, then usually I'm very happy with the work I've done on an edge. And again, I'm a novice, novice honer, so please keep that in mind. I've only been at it for a few months now, I guess. I don't even know how long. I, I didn't really uh, make any note when I started or mark a date on the calendar or anything. It's been some months now. And I took a couple of months where I didn't hone anything because I was just too busy. Around the holidays, I didn't have time to do any honing. I've been getting back to it recently and that's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. The Arkansas, extremely hard stone, um, but I think it does a, a good job of polishing 
to that edge, but if you make any mistakes and uh, come down like too hard or or you don't have that uh, razor perfectly flat, uh, you won't do, do yourself any good with the, <laughs> with the arc as it, it's called, but uh, this one feels pretty good so far. So we'll hope uh, it continues to feel good and I'm always very happy when I uh, do a decent job on an edge and I think this one is uh, is not bad at all. I'm going to be trying um, in a couple of days because I try not to bring you straight razor shapes every single day because I know some folks, some folks aren't into that. But also keep in mind I'm going to talk about soaps and other products during these straight razor shaves. So if you uh, don't straight razor shave, I hope you'll still stick with us. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. And I hope you'll stick with us and enjoy and maybe even at some point try straight razor shaving yourself if you're interested. Keep in mind, I'm still relatively new. I've only been doing it some months, you know, a hundred and I don't know how many. We're maybe approaching 130 straight razor shaves that I counted. I did do it some years ago, but that was, I don't know, maybe 20. Um, so it wasn't a ton. But uh, that first pass was very good. The Arkansas edge is nice. I like it. And so... There's something very, very rewarding about putting a new edge on a razor and trying it and it works out and it feels nice and smooth and it cuts well. And so that was very successful. And I always aim to be successful with every soap I use, with every product I use. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes I'm not very good. Sometimes the product isn't as good as <laughs> it needs to be either. And sometimes it's a combination, you know. But uh, on the edge there, we've done our job and it's doing what it's supposed to do. And if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, we'll come out with a fantastic shave. And that is the goal every single day. I don't seek to tilt the wheel um, when it comes to products one way or the other. I just use them and you see what happens. And again, I air them all. Good, bad, the ugly. And I hope you appreciate that. That's my goal. It's what I've been doing. I'm an advocate for this hobby, but I'm not a mouthpiece for artisans. I am a consumer first and foremost. And I have consumers first and foremost in my mind when I'm doing these videos. I want new people to come in, buy these products, spend money with these artisans, you know? But first and foremost, I'm a consumer myself. And uh, this Leah cream from Spain, it's good stuff. No problems lathering it whatsoever. It's nice and slick. It smells nice, just clean, pleasant. And I think that's the way, again, a lot of these two creams, they're just clean and pleasant. It's kind of hard to describe them. Um, but very nice, and uh, it's definitely slick enough. It's it's a great value at the price. I mean, you're talking one dollar and forty seven cents an ounce. I mean, that's that's phenomenal, and that is a big tube. So, you know, again, relative to my head, and I don't have the smallest head in the world. It's not huge, but you know, that's a lot of cream. <laughs> so, uh, go on over to the razor company and check it out if you like. It's twelve ninety nine, so uh, not a bad value at all. I'm happy with that purchase. Um, speaking of the razor company, a lot of us, or at least uh, some of us are making videos now on uh, their platform because they wanted to uh, have uh, videos and their how-to videos and shave and chats and quick tips. And so I'll link the uh, razor company YouTube channel below. Uh, give that a sub. I just saw Justin the Red Island Shaver doing a video on there this morning. So welcome, Justin. He is a great guy and he does a uh, great video. So please go over, check out Justin, the Red Island Shaver from Canada. And let's see if we can continue on today with our Red Imp. This blade is a little bit longer than some of the blades that I use. This one is like a full three inches, I'm pretty sure, or very close to it. It's a little bit longer. So sometimes when you're using a longer blade, you gotta be careful around that ear area, not getting too close. But you can kind of feel it. Just go easy. I can tell you now, the edge, the Arkansas edge here, very nice. I'm very happy with it. So we did a great job on that. And uh, coming up, I think I got started to mention earlier, but didn't finish. Uh, we did a codical Arkansas Combo Edge, and that is uh, 
honing first on the codical and then some polishing on the arc. So we're gonna try that razor in a few days and see how that goes. Tomorrow, we'll have uh, either a single edge or double edge razor for you. So I hope you'll come back. I intend to be here every day as much as I can. And I hope you will uh, as well. It, it's not uh, critical for us to always agree on every point of view. Um, we have good discussions, you know, the, some of the viewers and myself, and we don't always agree on every point, nor do we have to. But we should uh, have our debates in, uh, you know, in a civil manner and uh, keep each other's best interest at heart there and make sure we're not being insulting or accusing one another and things like that. I will respond to to all uh, feedback, negative or otherwise, so long as it's constructive. But when it gets into the realm of personal things and integrity things, that will that's an area of no fly for me because I wouldn't do that to you. So I, I hope that if you are gonna make a criticism that you'll do it in good faith and good spirit and we can have that conversation. It's always important to me to, to, to do things in that way. And that's my approach every single day, making these videos. Again, the cream here is good. I love this brush too, Atomic Rocket. I bought this last year, really like it. It's got a, like a, I don't know if that's 24 or 26 millimeter or not. I think it's 26. Feels a lot bigger to be honest. It spreads a lot, of, a lot of lather rather quickly. And as you can see here, no lathering woes whatsoever with this Lee. And folks, um, I've used lots and lots of soaps over the years. And generally, um, I'm able to do the same thing, you know. And that's, that's what my use case is. So my use case is generally loading a certain amount of uh, product into a bowl and going with a damp brush and then I'll add water gradually. And that process has worked with probably close to a thousand, uh, probably I'm guessing close to a thousand soaps. If not a thousand, it's probably in that seven, 800 range, but um, it mostly works. And so if I have to do something drastically different, uh, then, then that soap is not within my use case. It doesn't work well for my use case. So I want things to behave um, in a consistent fashion and but keep in mind that soaps are different so you, you may have to adjust your technique a little bit um, you certainly do with the razors but when it comes to soaps um, I, I generally don't want to spend a lot of time you know jumping through hoops and so on and so and I generally don't have to that's the thing of all the soaps I've used it's rare that I get one that uh, I struggle with but every now and then it can happen and sometimes that's me as well so I encourage you when you're watching the videos to listen to all the things I say and don't key key in on, you know, just certain points because I will certainly accept responsibility when I make errors. So it's important for me to do so as well. And sometimes it's a joint sort of responsibility, you know. Maybe the product just doesn't work well for your use case and you didn't do well by the product too. And I'm usually pretty good about pointing to myself too, because I certainly make mistakes. And sometimes I get frustrated and I overdo it. <laughs> but there's never any bad intent or malice there because I want all these artisans to succeed. I want these companies that have been around like Leah there a long time to continue to succeed. Because as a consumer, it's great for me having options and having people who can you know, afford things of all budgets, even the high budgets, is, is very important to me because there's something for everybody in this hobby and everybody can participate. And uh, that's important to me to have everybody. Um, this is not one of those things that require a special skill. You just have to be consistent and learn to do this. And I think everybody can do it. And that's why I love it, really. We can all participate. And for me, a big tent sort of fellow, that's always my goal. All right. So boy, I tell you, the Lee, Leah, however you say that, has certainly treated me very nicely today. 
Plenty slick enough, no problems whatsoever. It smells nice, clean, fresh. Um, no problems at all. And our edge has done its work very, very nicely as well. And so honestly, you can't get any better than that. <laughs> it just makes it uh, very, very enjoyable. It puts a smile on your face and that's why we share these videos. This is the result we expect day in, day out. And the vast majority of the time we, we do achieve that and, and that is wonderful. All right, boy, oh boy, that was nice. There are no gripes or grievances to be aired today. <laughs> this was this was uh, fun, nice, had just a great sort of shave and chat, not focusing too much on any one product, but I can tell you right now, the Leah, it works great, smells great, um, no complaints whatsoever. We'll dry this razor off and then we'll rinse our face and come back and get into the Bose, stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel, and I must say, that was a magnificent shave. Now, Nick's cut scrapers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles that I saw. You just can't beat that. That was phenomenal. Great edge on the Red Imp, which was a terrible, which was a razor in terrible condition when I got it. And now it's it's beautiful. And uh, that was just really smooth and nice. I used a PAA Allen Block off cam, almost no stinging. So that was a really smooth edge. And I'm very proud of that. We did a great job with that. We used the Atomic Rocket uh, brush with the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, the Atomic Rocket again from PAA. And today we're going to use what I think is the king of classic aftershaves, in my view, the best smelling classic aftershave that I've ever used, Floyd Black. And I always keep plenty of Floyd Black around. In fact, since I used up uh, a bottle not too long ago. I ordered another one to back this one up. That's how much I love <laughs> Floyd Black. It's just a beautiful uh, smelling aftershave. It's hard to describe. To me, it's bright. There might be some almond in there. There's a little bit of maybe a herbal or spicy note to it, but it's brighter than it is herbal or spicy. I'm going for a second round because you just can't beat this stuff. Floyd Black. Tremendous scent, and in my view, the best smelling classic aftershave that I've ever used, and I've used a many, so this is very enjoy enjoyable. I want to thank all of you for joining me. I hope you will come back and join me tomorrow, because you know I will be here, God willing. Thanks so much. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way, and as always, God bless.